What's going on YouTube? Geosan right here. So in today's video we're discussing about a brand new update to the dopamine jailbreak that was released. And this update comes with some important fixes, so stay tuned. This video is brought to you by any unlock, a software that allows to unlock the screen passcode, bypass MDM and even remove SIM lock. Definitely check the program out in the link below. So as you probably know, dopamine jailbreak was released and it kept receiving updates in the past few weeks. Now the version 1.0.5 is out and it's been released three days ago. And in case you missed it, it fixes an issue with four fix where it would break reinstalling the PKG and automatically fix the permission of private preboot UUID when jailbreaking in case they are wrong. Wrong permissions in this case apparently can cause SSH and new term to not work. So this one is not as big of an update as the one from last week, the 1.0.4 which fixed a lot of things, but you should also update to 1.0.5 as fast as you can. Now of course with dopamine jailbreak there is the option to update directly from the application. You can see this little update event available over here. You have to press that inside the jailbreak application if you already have the application installed and you will be able to install the update directly from the app so you don't have to connect the computer and stuff like that. If you are already jailbroken, all subsequent updates for dopamine can be installed directly from the app. If it's the first time you get dopamine, you just have to get a .tipa file or open it in Trollstore and you can install it with either Trollstore or with Sideloadly and stuff like that. However, I would definitely advise you to get the 1.0.5 since it does fix some important things in here, including SSH and new term. If you want to compile it from the source, Dopamine Jailbreak is completely open source, which means that you can download the GitHub repo and compile the source code using the make file provided if you don't trust the IPAs and stuff like that, but the IPAs are safe. For those of you unaware, the Jailbreak works on iOS 15.0 up to 15.4.1, on A12 through A15 devices and even M1 devices are supported. Older devices like iPhone 10 and older are not supported. It supports iPhone XS and Max 11, 12, 13 and stuff like that. As always, you can find the latest jailbreaks on our jailbreak downloads page over here on iDeviceCentral.com and you can find them by category, by iOS version, by device. So definitely check this page in the link below. It contains all the jailbreaks down to iPhone OS 1.0 and even iOS 2. So definitely check it out in the link below and do go ahead and update to 1.0.5 which was released by OPA 334 a couple of days ago. This will ensure that you keep your jailbreak safe, stable and of course, bug free. Thank you for watching. I am Gio Snow. Peace out.